Welcome back, my friends, to the vegan show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside. Come inside. Continuing with Cauliflower Week, we are going to be making a cauliflower burger, which basically means i got to cut this bad boy into a steak. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You want to keep the knob on for this. So I'm going to basically... <laughs> Lop that right down. See the knob helps keep it together. So, just like Captain and Tennille said, love will keep us together. There's one. I'm just gonna trim this part a little bit because this part is really, really tough. Um, you can hear our favorite beloved friend asking for some treats and he got a little bit there I'm gonna cut another one right here there we go just gonna trim this up a little bit give him some and we're gonna shuffle off these off to the side save that for something else so we got two really nice little steaks here um, that we are then going to bread and bake and then baste in some delicious um, barbecue sauce and make a burger out of this bad boy. So uh, stick around. I'll be back. And uh, once again, welcome to Vegan Finds. We hope you're enjoying Cauliflower Week. Okay, so in my little dish here, I have half a cup of gluten-free um, flour. Now, if you're not gluten-free, use regular flour. Into that, I'm going to be adding a half a cup of almond milk. You can use any kind of nut-based milk you want. Uh, but prior to that, I'm going to be putting in... Oops, I can open this. Um... Oh man, these, I hate these kinds of lids, but smoked paprika. And I'm going to use slightly less than a tablespoon. So, slightly less than a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Obviously, you've seen us use this before. It gives a nice smoky flavor to things. And some granulated garlic the same amount just like that into there gonna whisk this up a little bit blend it all together so we can make the batter so I'm adding the milk whiskeroo hey tank chill out Thanks, my dog. Um, for those of you who are thinking of getting a pet, getting a dog, stick with a name that doesn't depict something destructive like Tank. Um, Fluffy, Moppy, Fido, Spot, all good names. Tank basically is a perfect description of my dog. He is a tank. So... What we're going to do is we're going to dip the steaks into the batter here. And I've got gluten-free panko breadcrumbs that we're going to use to coat this once it's done. That's going to give it a super crunchy taste. So into the batter it goes. You always want to keep like one hand free. I'm really terrible at that sort of thing, but here we go. Give it another little zhuzh. There we go. What you want to do is you want to get it nice and coated just like that. Um, this is going to give an extra crunchy texture to it. Definitely need some more panko in here. So um, you do that to both the steaks. Then you pop them into an oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to do that. Uh, once the oven, oops, the oven has preheated, so I'll be back 
to show you what happens, what we do once this is cooked phase one. Okay, so these are ready for the oven. You can uh, basically, what you want to do is put some parchment paper down onto a cookie sheet and throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for, doo -doo -doo -doo, let me see how long I'm supposed to be cooking these. Um, 25 minutes. At the halfway mark, you are going to flip these over so they brown on the other side. And then once that is completed, what do we do? That's a good question. We take some barbecue sauce after 25 minutes and we basically brush the steaks with barbecue sauce and bake them for another 15. I will show you what it looks like before we put them back in the oven. So these are going in for 25, flip at 12 and a half or you could just do 12 and 13. That also makes 25 and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so as you can see these have been browning uh, pretty nicely. And we're getting ready to add the barbecue sauce. So, just gonna dab it on here. Normally, I would use a silicone brush, but stupidly, I don't know where it is. Uh, when your house is in flux, like this one is uh, of late, um, you kind of make do with what you got. So, this is our one of our favorite uh, barbecue sauces that's vegan, gluten-free. You got to be careful, especially on the gluten-free, because a lot of barbecue sauces have like some hidden wheat in there from either soy sauce or Worcestershire. Um, now we're going to flip them over, do both sides, because that's really what you want. You want to get both sides. Then we're going to bake this again. Um, Quite honestly, I cut these too thick. Um, not, I'd say my effort level uh, on this was about a 4 out of 10. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, they looked okay to me, but now seeing them and then realizing these are going to go on a bun, uh, they're too thick. So uh, you may want to shoot for it slightly thinner. Um, steaks because they'll cook a little bit crispier uh, but again if you like cauliflower then it's not going to be a problem I'm not a huge fan uh, but I'm growing to like it a lot more than I have in the past obviously since we're having cauliflower a week <laughs> I'd be as we say SOL um, if I didn't like cauliflower at least a little bit so um, if this was 25, 30 years ago, I would have been like, uh, get that garbage away from me. Now I'm like, ooh, this is pretty good. I really like this. Um, some of the things that we've made have been absolutely delicious. I won't lie. Um, other times when we make things, which thankfully we don't share with you, um, you could say uh, they weren't my cup of tea. Now my wife will eat cauliflower in any state that it's in um, she loves air frying it and just dipping it into some sort of vegan dressing but uh, me not so much I'm much more of a prep it coat it get it crispy crunchity um, type of person I'm just gonna dump this on cuz it's just taking too long for me to do it the old-fashioned way of brushing it on. Get some on um, Mr. Spot there. All right, so now this goes back into the oven for another 15 minutes to bake. Then we plate it up. So I'll be back in a moment with the final product. Okay, so here we have the finished product. I actually had to cut the burger in half. I got a slice of heirloom tomato. Um, don't know where they came up came from other than the market and they are absolutely beautiful a slice of onion and Some french fries. I'm gonna 
top it off with a little bit more barbecue sauce and I'm going to dig in. So if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, hit uh, a thumbs up and leave a comment. And uh, always remember that in the description we will um, put the recipes for these dishes so you can always have a reference point uh, for them. I'm going to go eat this. I'm going to deliver one to my wife so she can eat. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another cauliflower dish. Have a great one and enjoy.